We're still here on the Cimarron Ranch near Red Hill, New Mexico. It's a ranch that was subdivided and there's property for sale. For example, lot 87, 18,010.43 acres, but there's no nothing. And there apparently is a uh, property owners association, but you contact Eric Kruger, 520-989-1415. He's got all the stuff on it. So here we go. Yeah, we're on, uh, I can't remember the name of the road now. Sounds like the holder's gonna rattle a little bit. But I've seen some RVs in here that are, they're not hooked up to power, so they're using solar. And you've got a, uh, they do have a property owners association uh, water well uh, where you can get water. So that water problem is solved, you know. If you can drive up and get water, you're good. And as far as power, uh, here, elevation, I'm going to guess the elevation is probably got to be close to 7,000 feet, I'd guess. And it's cool right now. It's showing 64 degrees at 931 New Mexico time. So that's pretty good for August 13th, 2024. Yeah, so if you're ever in the area and you're looking for a place to be in the uh, summer, you know, to get out of the heat that you want to own rather than rent, uh, and there's something to be said about that. You know, RV parks are what they are, you know, I mean, they, they are what they are. There's a guy off to the right there with an RV and a storage building and all kinds of stuff. That's on, uh, okay, the road we're on, well, I don't see a sign. The road to the right there is called Wildflower. Yeah, he's got a pretty sight there, but he's got power brought in and everything. Beautiful view. Yeah, some of these lots have really great views. I mean, you'd have to get a list of all the ones that are for sale and then drive out here and go from lot to lot and you could probably find one you know would i live here uh, in the summers sure am i no no I'm, I'm contented with my lifestyle the way it is right now i am here's another one for sale down here we'll look at it but, you know, if you can get one that's fairly level or flat, it makes it a lot nicer. That's Dove Valley, and I'm not sure what this is. Uh, I think it's Cimarron. We need to go that way to go out, I think. But we'll go look at this one. Yeah, this one, oh, this might be a little house here. Okay, this is this this was by oh, this is a house. Yeah. This is 455 something. And uh yeah, they got a house, a big house. New Mexico West Properties 575-773-4996. And uh yeah, no that's a big house up here. So if you're looking for a place, guys, this right here wouldn't be bad. Red Hill, New Mexico is not a town. It's just a sign. But uh, yeah, uh, Cimarron Ranch would be a good place to look for a spot to come in the summers. Uh, it, it would, you know, 10 years ago, this would have really interested me. It still has its appeal. It's just that I have my lifestyle kind of going my way right now. 
I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here now. <laughs> yeah, hello. Well, according to my compass, I'm going east. But this road right here, it, I think Cimarron is the main entrance road, and this is not Cimarron. This is. Yeah, it is. Cimarron. Maybe I'm going the wrong way, though. Uh, we're going... Mm, well, we're going east. Would that be right? Let me think. Probably not. It's probably exactly wrong. East sounds good, though. Got a little rattle there. The reason is, is that this road is kind of a washboard road. And... Uh, yeah, if you lived way on the interior where you had to drive in three or four miles to your place, uh, that would be, it would be difficult. Let me get this out of order. Yeah, these holders, man, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little chapped at that. They're not supposed to rattle. Yeah. Well, it could be something else. I mean, there's no doubt about that. East, am I going correct here? I don't know. You know, I got everything. Let me get him out here. I got. So it's not this. I don't know. Pretty view. I mean, it's really nice. <laughs> I tell you guys, I get out here in these places and get turned around and uh, east. If we go east, will that get us out of here? Uh, if I see something I recognize, it'd be nice. You know, like that fire department building would be great. But I don't see it. This is going to tell us something. Okay, this is... Uh, well, i got to go right. Huh. Well, we're going to go right. Heap Ranch Road... And this is Cimarron Drive. So, yeah, we go to the right. No, it's a pretty place. I mean, in good location. You're, you're 30 minutes from grocery shopping in uh, uh, Springerville and Eager. Yeah. Now I'm turning south. Would that make sense? Yeah, that would make sense. Beautiful morning for a cruise like this. Glad I came. Gave me a chance to do my walking, my exercise. I'm not through yet. I didn't do much. I only walked for about a mile. And uh, maybe a little more, but I'll go somewhere and do some more walking. But it's the rain has stopped in Springerville now, for sure. So I can go back to Springerville and walk around somewhere yeah exercise is very important to me at my age 79 i need to do it every day every day every day try to eat right and all that stuff why well you know i mean i just want to feel good see this thing up here that's that uh i don't know what it is it's got more technology in it than I've got everywhere else. I mean, it's, it's some kind of sensor for driving. A, a, all the new cars have it almost. Some kind of radar stuff. Well, we're going south. Oh, I know what it is. We came in one way. Cimarron must just make a big loop. I hope. And this road's not too bad. 
I see several uh, RVs out there and you know camp houses that people have built so apparently they're not it's not very well restricted which is okay it depends on the people but you know the fact that they've got a, a water well that you can use it's got a lock on it with a you know a coated lock you know you dial the dials and so yeah you can pull up there and get water and if it's good drinking water well then you really got a home run Power is the big thing though, man. If, if you've got uh, utility power, that's so much better than uh, uh, solar. Why? Well, even though you pay a fee for it, it's more predictable and you don't have to mess with batteries and panels and all kind of crap and inverters and all that stuff. There's a wind turbine field straight ahead that tells you that they must get enough wind to generate using turbines yeah see so Cimarron Drive just makes a big loop through the ranch so because there's the fire thing that we saw earlier or in another video so guys from out here near Red Hill New Mexico on a Tuesday morning August the 13th 2024 a uh, cool morning, 64 degrees, uh, 9.41 New Mexico time, and I'll drive 12, 12 miles and it'll be 8.41. If I kept going, I'd go back into the womb. Yeah, that's the uh, Kemato Fire Department. We're, we're, for, we're pretty good ways from Kemato, though. I'd say we're 25 miles or more. You know, it shows internet, HughesNet. Man, you, that, that's the most expensive internet you can get, I believe. I'm surprised they're still in business. You know, Starlink should have cut them off. Here comes a whole bunch of vehicles. I guess they're going to be working on the power out here today. <clears throat> You know, if you have a big ranch like this in a very remote area uh, to generate some cash flow, breaking it up, bre breaking up a section or two into small lots is a good way to raise some cash. And then have your homeowners association that the money comes into you. That's what they did on the Terlingua Ranch. They busted up a huge ranch into, I don't know, 5,000 lots or more, and uh, all of those lots pay a $150 a, a year fee. That's a nice chunk of change. But they, they maintain the roads and do stuff that uh, makes that Terlingua Ranch functional. Isn't this a big, this is a big deal video, right? You think this will be a viral video? Yeah, this is a power company, I think, right here, guys. Uh, they don't have any signs on their vehicles. That's interesting. Uh, that one does. Maybe it's wind energy. Do do. It says. Uh, Windy Tree Inc. Tree trimmers? Maybe. So guys, from out here in the boonies, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Well, because it helps bring you these great videos like this. You know, I mean, you're getting to look at that thing up there. You get to see the dash. I mean, come on. You know, don't get greedy, guys. Don't get greedy. And what right straight ahead, if you can see those little buildings there, is uh, that is Red Hill. 
and it's a, it's all it is is a rock shop that's closed. Yeah, we'll go up here to the stop sign. Let y'all enjoy this lovely dirt road. It's not that bad, but I did uh, earlier. I mentioned that these gravel roads like this. Uh, the, where they got the rocks on the road and you know there's kind of a washboard road uh, it, it'll wear out a set of tires in a hurry man I know I lived out on the Terlingua Ranch for a couple of years and I was about two miles from the road the main road and whenever I turned off the pavement it took about 30 minutes to go two miles it was like driving in a creek bed but I thought it was heaven I had 40 acres of land. I didn't have a mule, though. I had 40 acres of land, no power, no water, no nothing. And I did. I live fine. I got ice uh, twice. Well, let's see. Yeah, probably twice a week I had to go get ice. And you could get that in Studi Butte. Expensive, but, you know, wasn't that bad. And then uh, water, you could get drinking water. You could get drinking water or non-potable water at the ranch headquarters for five cents a gallon if you were a member of the property owner association so we're 23 miles from springerville right here springerville arizona that is and uh, yeah fortunately i'll turn and the sun will be at my back well, let's go ahead and make the turn. Hell, we'll make a. Since y'all are paying for this video, I'll let y'all enjoy more of it. So here we go. Here we go to Springerville. Oh, there's the mineral mineral thing building. That's that's all of Red Hill right there, the rock shop. And this right here is the drive to uh, Springerville and Eager. And away we go. So guys, enjoy your life. Stand guard at the door of your mind. We're 26 miles from Springerville, 11 miles from the New Mexico-Arizona border. Going west. Adios. Bye-bye.